about the testimony, the spirit of this show. This is our show. This is our community. You at home, you are in our community. Cyber Hall, I can't do this alone because one person, I, I love that movie Soul Food. They said, one finger, it's weak, but you pull it together, it's a mighty strong fist. And that's what I believe the spirit of daytime. It's able, it helps us push back, understand, inspire. So since we're ripping off the masks, I'm gonna rip off mine and tell you what happened. So you don't have to read it in a magazine. You don't have to read it in the newspaper. You don't have to go on your blogs in the shade room. I got you. You don't have to do any of that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it was. So here you go. I go into work one day, I left fired. Demoted, I guess is what they called it. I called it fired. Um, that was me leaving the show. That coat was so sick, <laughs> beautiful coat. <laughs> But you know that song, sometimes the clothes don't make the man. The clothes did not make the woman that day. It didn't matter what I looked like on the outside. Inside, I was falling apart. I've worked since I was 14. Who, who in here has been fired or demoted? Oh, she said, oh, demoted. Let me go up here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stand up. Tell me what happened to you. Come on. Oh, what happened? I'm from Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. Hey. Um, what happened, I was working for the state of Maryland, the Board of Election, and I have college education, and they brought people from home who never, I don't even know if they finished 12th grade, they end up being my supervisor. And you were devoted. Go figure, yes. And see, I think a lot of people understand that because we're all gonna be replaced at some point in time in our lives. But we, I said, there's a book that I read called Path of Light, and if you are what's on your business card, are you anything? Are you living? If we're all about the title, I understand being about the paycheck, don't get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking about the title. So in my journey, I got demoted. All of a sudden, job offers started to come in. Trickling in, I can't tell you that they were flooding in, but they were coming in. I gotta pay the bills. Then I get a call from Harvey Weinstein. I, did, I took the meeting because I did not know. This was before he had been accused of what we now know is playing out in television and in front of us in a courtroom. Actually, another sign. Harvey Weinstein's trial was supposed to start today. 9-9, nine, nine, my comeback. Same time he was supposed to be walking through a courthouse. His trial has been postponed. But all of a sudden, the guy who's the biggest, most important guy in Hollywood comes to me and says, let's team up with a show. Three months later, I say a commercial break. I learned that he's been accused of rape. So it's like a, you do this. You feel like you're down. I was also, at the day he called me, I was at a domestic violence shelter in Texas celebrating their 25th anniversary. Women who've been assaulted, women who've been abused, but they were still getting up. And I looked around that room and I said, they can get up, I can get up. Yeah. So shout out to them. <laughs>